lots of dresses. I just want to live so minimally. Okay, I love this. Play tennis once a week. So good. Look what just came! Sunrise. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. Happy first day of spring, y'all. I wanted to just do a little um, video today. I don't really know but what video, what the video is gonna be, but I'm gonna take y'all along with me on my day, kinda, sorta. I have a lot of work to do, so it won't be like a full day in my life, but yeah, come and hang with me. I wanted to cut the camera on really quick because just to one, start off the vlog, but also I'm about to make these little um, bites, these little protein bites, um, but they're really good for like, they call them like energy balls on like Pinterest and stuff, but they're really good breakfast. And I got a late start to my morning, not on purpose, cause I was up at like 5.30, like five, I was up at like six this morning, but I was getting like work and stuff done. So it's 10.21, I still haven't eaten breakfast which is not normal for me. So I'm about to make these uh, little balls really quick, but I wanted to share how I make them because they are delicioso. Okay, so I have some organic oats from Target. These are like the main ingredients. Organic honey, um, peanut butter. I got, you're supposed to use some like flaxseed meal, flaxseed meal, organic again. Everything I use for the most part, I try to get organic. So this is from Trader Joe's. I don't know if you guys can see these brands up close. Also, I got some hemp seeds, chia seeds, and I think these are like the main ingredients. You can kind of spice it up. The recipe that I saw for this was, um, had like coconut in it, but I'm not a big coconut girl. So I just wanted to show y'all how I make them. Now I'll probably give y'all like an overhead view instead, but I'm just gonna put some oats. Now I don't really, I'm not a measuring type of girl, but I think I want a good bit. Cause so I'm gonna make some for me and my sister as well. Chocolate chip cookies. I'm generous with the chocolate chips. Then we're gonna do some honey, some peanut butter. We're gonna do some of this flaxseed meal. I'm also gonna do some hemp seeds, even though I usually eat these in my yogurt bowl. So it might be like hemp seed overload, but that's fine. And then you just kind of stir it up. Now I think it's really the honey that gives it that like stick, you know what I mean? I did this last time where I kind of go too hard. So, oopsies. You just kind of keep stirring. It takes a while for the honey to kind of saturate on the oats until it gets this like clumpy consistency. Like I said, I eyeball it. I feel like it kind of needs more honey, possibly more peanut butter. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit more peanut butter. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. Okay, so once I got all of that mixed up, but my hands are washed and cleaned of course but i just kind of take some of them and roll it together last time i made these they weren't as like sticky and like stuck together so i think the more honey and peanut butter you put the better easier it will be to like roll it into little balls and so i just do that until i get all of the batter rolled up into these little balls and i'll show y'all the little i'll show you guys the um the results i'm gonna stick these in the fridge for about 30 minutes um, before I eat them. Honestly, for me, maybe like 10, uh, 10 minutes just because I'm ready to eat them now. I need to put something on my stomach. But the rest of them, they will like sit overnight or however long, but you just wanna stick them in the fridge to like have them. That's the process. <laughs> So good. Highly recommend it if you just want a quick breakfast or a snack. I just got done getting ready for the day, but y'all, I just remembered that I ordered a new. Last night I got a package um, and I want to just try it on really quick to see if it fits. It's a um, an athletic dress. I've never had one of these before, but I got it off of Amazon. I'm going to try it on really quick because honestly, this video, I just wanted to kind of chat with y'all today. Um, in this video about like my spring goals and things I'm looking forward to for spring. And yeah, just make this like a little spring video. This is like the dress that I'm wearing. So pretty, so cute. I got it in a large, un momento. Oh my gosh, I love it. This is so cute. Obsessed. 
back here and point it down a little bit. I need y'all to see this. Yeah, so this is freaking adorable. I love so much. Okay, I love this. Like, when I tell you it's so buttery, it has like shorts underneath with the pockets. I can put like my tennis balls in here or my phone. This makes me even more excited. So that's the dress, but this makes me even more excited about tennis. But if y'all don't know, if you've been following me for some time, then you know that all last summer I started getting into tennis. I don't know. I think it was from me watching All American, which I stopped watching that show because the Holy Spirit was just like, I was getting too caught up in it and my emotions were getting too, yeah, it was just too much. So anyway, but I got inspired from the show All American on Netflix last year, last summer. Yeah, I just wanted to try out tennis. I went to go get me a tennis racket and some balls and I played like every single week, at least once a week. I started at the end of summer, so I didn't really get to get like really into it. So this spring and summer, I'm gonna be a tennis girl. I'm so excited. So that's one of my spring goals is to play tennis once a week like I did last year. And speaking of tennis, hold on. Maybe like two months ago, it was literally smack dab in the middle of winter, but me and my friend Jenna went to this thrift shop in North Carolina and I found this tennis, uh, this new tennis racket. Uh, with the case because I think the one that I had last year didn't have a case so I would just take it but y'all uh, I totally forgot that I got this too and I'm just looking so forward to tennis if you can't tell this thing is a beauty and it matches me perfectly ah, I can't wait y'all I'm looking so forward to this oh I just seriously can't wait like Another thing that I'm really, really looking forward to for spring is just being more active and going on more walks and stuff. I, honestly, y'all, I don't want to take this off. I had to change back out that outfit, but I almost, y'all, I did not want to take that off. It's so comfortable. Hope you guys are enjoying the weather where you are. I wanted to dress up as if it was spring, but low key, the weather took another turn on us where it was like the fake spring came. Hopefully we'll get some warm weather next week and we can start dressing in like warmer clothes because I'm just so tired of wearing closed toe shoes. Like, I just feel so much more free <laughs> in the warmer months. But I'm also really excited today because Giovanni got me a new iPhone 14. I had to order it to my house instead of being able to pick it up in store because I got a higher gigabyte. Makes the process so much longer. So I've been sitting here like refreshing the tracking over and over because I don't want to miss it. When I tell y'all it was needed, like this wasn't a purchase where it was like, it was just like a want and I, we have the free money to just be spending, dropping money on a new phone. It was so neat, like my phone is on its last leg and I'm really excited for the quality of it, but just to have more storage. I got 512 gigabytes. Being able to get this phone and it not like, not be like this big burden on us is just such a blessing. And I know that I've grown in this area because I was able to just hold on until like I'm, I really, really needed the new phone. One thing about me is iPhones, like the, the newest iPhone used to really be I wouldn't say like an idol, but like every time a new iPhone came out, I would always be like, you know, I really want this new iPhone and I would upgrade immediately because the specs and just like what it has to offer for the quality of the cameras. I think right now I'm just gonna go to Trader Joe's really quick and get some flowers. Y'all, these baby blooms, they lasted for so, so long. These baby boom, uh, baby breath. I don't know why I keep saying baby bloom. They're called baby breath flowers. They lasted for a really long time, but it's a new season and so, I think that deserves <laughs> new flowers for the table. The one thing I just wanna encourage you to, like no matter what you have, use the resources that you have. Like, I was really looking forward to the iPhone 14 because I was like, oh, it's gonna be a step up from like my content creation and that kind of stuff. But I'm just trying to find a balance of like being grateful, but also just like not idolizing something better uh, because what I have now is perfectly fine and I have what I need, you know what I mean? And so anyway, that's just something I'm really looking forward to. None of these things satisfy me anymore. And like, I have an understanding that like getting the newest things and the latest things and just having more, um, it's just like not satisfying. You know what I'm saying? Like it never will fulfill you. And so I'm just so grateful to be in a place in my life where I have that understanding and revelation that like, no matter what I get, no matter how many new things that I have, <laughs> you know, it's like none of it is gonna fill my heart. It's not gonna feed my spirit in any way, shape or form. And I think just coming out of a season of um, financially just like being tight, broke off a lot of like poverty mindsets that I had, like a poverty mindset that I had, but also too, just really taught me how to use what I have, use my resources, really value what I have to minimize. I just want to live so minimally. You know what I mean? Like, I do have a desire to get like a new wardrobe, but I'm just kind of taking it one step at a time and just trying to figure out my style and what I like. And so I got rid of so many clothes a couple months ago or like last month or something like that. 
And so I really like have minimized my wardrobe, but now it's time to kind of like rebuild it. But like minimally, you know, just getting staple pieces. So like just for example, that tennis dress I just got, that will just, I won't indulge and get like <clears throat> a million tennis dresses just because I love it in a, in a bunch of different colors. Like just for the spring and summer, maybe get two, a black one and, and one of color and just keep it at that. And this is not just like for spring, this is just in general. Just, I think I'm just talking about this right now because it's a new season and things are getting warmer, which means I need to get summer clothes, um, especially because I got rid of everything. So it's time for me to start like building my wardrobe for, for the summer and spring. I'm just like reminding myself like Sundra, it just makes life so much easier and simpler and I just wanna live simply. I haven't really had good balance lately and I've put on weight again, which has been really discouraging because I'm like, what am I doing wrong? But I think it's just like not having a good balance of what, what I'm feeding my body. I'm just not serving my body well and treating it well and feeding it well. And people can look at me and be like, girl, you don't need to lose weight. My husband tells me this all the time, but I feel like women, we kind of like know our bodies. And so for me, this is just like, I'm not saying I'm overweight or anything, but there's just like some goals that I have. And I try not to harp too much on like weight and how I look physically, like to a point where, I, where I'm like, it's like driving me. Tonight I'm making that sushi bake. Oh my gosh. If you follow me on Instagram, y'all know I've been having that like at least once a week. Let me tell you, that recipe is so, it's so delicious, so good, but it's also healthy. It's literally just sushi rice. I'm trying to figure out my day because I have a photo shoot at like five. Hopefully my phone comes before then. I'll be back with y'all to chat a little bit more. I've been like rambling this whole vlog. Look what just came. <laughs> yes, it literally came right after I got the phone with you. This is very different for me because usually when you order in store, you get like a whole bag. Like this is all that came in the mail, literally. That's the box and this is all that was in it. But I'm just gonna set this up really quick and then I'll be back with y'all. Yay! It has been a couple weeks, honestly. I started recording this like a week or two ago, this whole vlog. Sometimes you just have to like take care of what's happening in your, in your life <laughs> before I can come on here and feel the freedom to do this. I uh, just wanted to finish this vlog. I honestly have on the same dress I left off with because again, that day, I just took the dress off, didn't go anywhere, didn't do anything. So I'm just gonna wear it again, put on some makeup today. Yeah, guys, I think, I'm pretty sure the title of this vlog is, I just am excited for spring and just wanted to share with y'all some things that I'm excited about. Y'all look at these tulips that I got from Trader Joe's the other day. <laughs> Um, I've just been thriving, y'all. I've, I've been playing tennis and all that good stuff. I think the warm weather is officially here to stay. So I'm gonna paint my nails, toenails really quick. I enjoy winter time because I don't have to paint my toes because they're not showing, they're not out. Come springtime, it's time to start keeping up with the toes. And so I'm gonna have to paint them real quick. <laughs> Nothing makes me happier than tulips on my table. The, like the purple tulips are just everything. But I'm about to get dressed, probably just go for a little walk. I've been teasing on my Instagram how I'm gonna film about Sabbath here soon. And I was supposed to do it this week. And one thing I've learned, I'm learning about myself is I have to stop making promises about when I'm gonna film something or when I'm gonna put something out because half the time here recently, I, I haven't just, sorry, I almost thought I messed up my polish, but at the time, I haven't been able to um, execute or to stick to those promises. There's a word I'm looking for. I don't know, there's a word that I'm looking for. It's not execute those promises. It's, um, sorry, do y'all ever get stuck on something like that and it just bothers you and you don't wanna move on until you figure out what it is that you were trying to say? It'll come to me later, probably. I don't wanna over promise and under deliver. Um, and I find myself doing that all the time where I'm like, yeah, next week, next week I'm gonna film on, film a series on Sabbath. And then this week I just don't get to it because of something that may be going on in my life <laughs> that I have to deal with. I'm gonna put out whatever the grace of God is over. The grace just was not over it this week, unfortunately, but I'm feeling back um, a little more free to be able to record and do all of that. So this, the Sabbath series is coming. I just really feel like I want to encourage those who don't Sabbath and just share why what I've learned about the Sabbath day and um, you know, why I started honoring it. So but let me know down below in the comments what you're looking forward to for spring, what you're excited about, what are some spring activities you like to do. 
I just wanted to pop in and show you guys my makeup. This is like my little everyday look, but I love it because it's like very springy, just very clean pink. You know, I got kind of got overboard with the blush, but yeah, that's just how I look for the day. I wanted to make sure I got ready. This is another thing that I'm going to be doing in the spring. Just getting more dressed up often. Lots of dresses. Love this one. Super springy, super cute. But uh, yeah, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Thank you.